Hey guys, Crew of Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron! And we are back with Ender! Ender. Ender. Last time. Ender. There's no slash. Ender. Last Cassie and Ender. Last time we're not Aaron. Say jail! It. Say Ender. Say it. Jail. Oh, damn it, he is in jail. Cassian. Cassian is in jail. Is yes, in jail? for uh, like six years. Yeah, for walking around a crime scene. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was looking suspicious. He was interfering with imperial activity, and he they grabbed him and hung him up by his neck. He had some lip on him. That's what happened. Everyone right? has a lip. And it used to be except for Thorians. That's true. They have two throats. Hang on to this one. <laughs> yes. Uh. Yeah, we had all of that. We had uh, Mon Mothma. No, hang in, Calvin. He's just said to watch me. <laughs> uh, we had uh, Mon Mothma, who was also recruiting for her circle of uh, would-be rebels. Uh, yep. Getting Tay Colma. Bankman. Mm -hmm. An old friend. He is Bankman by night. Um, yeah. She, he might find her politics a little extreme. Yes. For his tastes. Yep. And we had a pulley. A pulley? Yeah, we did a oh. A pole! <laughs> well, Cassian utilized a KX series droid to help him in his prison Oh my break. god, I forgot that was the question. No! Yes. 28% said? Yes. No. He will not. 72%. Uh, I'm with those 28. 72. Those 28, man. Those 28. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you guys fucking up. No. I had my eyes closed. You didn't. You couldn't fuck up because like... you're alone. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't fuck up because you're alone. That uh, Justine says that KX droid is a Chekhov's gun. I'm confident he'll return in a future episode, and Cass will definitely find a way to reprogram him and help with his escape. Is that the one that's in the box, and until you open it, is both a gun and not a gun? That's no. Pandora's toilet. Chekhov's oh. gun is basically gun on the mantle. But oh, I like Pandora's toilet better. Chase Gardner the... says it will be a rescue mission from Luthen, huh. uh, Vel, and Cinta. Yep. Ah. yep, yep, But they need to yep, kill yep. him. Kill who? Why would they? Hmm, no, they need to get him out because he knows information. I will be rescuing you from this. <laughs> what the fuck? Christian <laughs> Boulder says, I don't think we'll see K2 just yet. I think he'll definitely be in <laughs> season two, though. <laughs> season two? Maybe. <clears throat> yeah, I think so, too. Dip602 says, who needs a droid when all you need is a rock hammer and a poster of Rita Hayworth? Oh, good hat. Jesse Soto says, tinfoil hat theory. Okay. What if Cassian is sent to the same prison that Ryder and the Bridgers are at? We could hear uh, Ever Ezra's speech and see the broadcast, plus live action Clancy Brown again. We did talk about that, whether we would see, like, the, the Bridgers. Yeah. And stuff. Them I'm not being against in a prison and the stuff. idea. I just don't know if this show, the tone that it has, the seriousness that it has, the kind of like everyday people in the background. I just don't know if it necessarily is conductive with having conducive. Conducive with having really big like uh, crossover story tie and stuff. They didn't do his parents dying on screen in. Rebels, because that would be dark. Mm -hmm. But they could do it in this show. This show is dark. How dark? Like, how did they die? They couldn't like, see. Like, they're him. shot down by fucking the the Imperial guards and shit. They were fucking by, the Imperial guards? By a KX droid. What? he then, by no. him being distracted by killing the Bridgers. Do you, do you want K2 to kill the Bridgers? I don't want him to, but that's what's going to happen. I can't believe that's what you want. Being shipped out somewhere else from the from the, the Taurus planet. Yeah, because they're still short troopers. Uh, Ni Niamos. All planet. Keith. There is Plata. What? Keith Cargo. What? Almost What's sounds that? like Grief Cargo. Your transport. Next. What is that? What's the Kina Five? I'm a tourist. Move it. All planet. Niamo. <coughs> Bell Savas. Bell Savas. Bell Savas. I know that name. Bell Savas. Bell Savas. Um, yeah. Nice little republic or just order public. Maybe it's maybe it's in uh yeah, so it's Republic. Republic. Write that down. Did you write down? Has a big old tick monster you wrote down. on it. It's kinda of swampy. It has ricotta stuff too, I think, right? Right. Shoes, boots, and Oh uh, That's 
cool. Yeah. That's their seatbelt? Uh, no. That's restraints. That won't keep their body from flopping around It'll uncontrollably. Keep their arms from flopping around, but their bodies might go. Yeah. The tie is cool. Ooh. How it just slots them. I'm Lieutenant yeah. Ed Ramiro. I'm the ISB supervisor for the Morlana sector. What happened to Lieutenant Blood? I lost the questions. We even lost the, the questions. questions. That's what I was thinking. I'm just trying to clear my name. One would think you'd want to leave Ferrix as far behind as possible. One would be wrong. He wants to go back to Ferrix? Tell me, what's not in Lieutenant Blevins' report that I need to know? I have no idea. I wasn't allowed to see the report. You signed it. I was given no choice. These two could really help each other. Yeah, in a bad way. Mm -hmm. Give him Blevins' report, let him read it, keep him in there. Of all days. We have time. I fucking love this shit. <laughs> <laughs> the box he's in reminds me of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, I bet, yeah. That's a big old gas giant down there. Uh, Arkina 5. Looks like it might be a desert prison planet. This one's cold and that one's hot. They have a bunch of Alcatrazes. Yeah. <laughs> so based on their home world is where they go? Yeah. I wonder how they decide that. It's like, uh... So that they don't have any connections in prison, probably. Whoa. Andor was in the act of transferring the unit to a person we've named Axis. Axis. Because of his centrality to what we believe to be an organized rebel That's effort to acquire specialized mm -hmm. Imperial gear. The Fulcrum and the Axis. Ferrix was a mistake. It's the first one he's made. Drill down is exactly what I want to do, sir. Drill down, find Andor, and get a hunt started. Yeah, are they gonna talk to the mom in the br Brill? She's so good at her job. Probably. Well, she was in enforcement, you know? I want Yalarin to seem super competent. Because he always felt really competent before. I haven't gotten that from him yet. Look at them sneakers. Oh, that's why no boots and shoes. Why? Magnetic boots. It's like face off. I want you some, if not all of you, are wondering how we risk standing before you without weapons. It's a potent question. And hopefully Their boots are insulated. Won't have answered very that's often, but some of the boots. Yeah. Oh, that's so crazy. Oh, it looks so painful. So that insulates them. Oh. Yeah. All you gotta do is knock them down, though. I didn't get a good look. Uh, a little six camera thing up there. <laughs> Here's what we'll do, Mr. Khan. You'll stop filing requests for Andor. Anticipating that, I will inform the Bureau of Standards that you were of service to the Empire today. Ooh. That was very good. I solved a double murder and found the killer in two days. It was overly ambitious, yes, but time was slipping away and the opportunity was real. I'm running late. It's clear you need Andor in order to find his partner. He is shooting his shot. What's going on? Where's your partner? They had a tech problem on one. Delivery takes priority over tech. You know that. He'll be here any second. New man ready on 52D <laughs> requesting unit override. Copy that. Uh, coming up. That's not good enough. This was on the schedule. Can't just not turn up. He'll be here. Override engaged. 5-2, you have the floor. We've got other deliveries waiting. Mm. Let's just get him out on the ring. Right, step forward. Let's go. Move. Step forward and stop. Now, move. Stop. Everything feels so real. Ready on the floor? Looks good. Prep for door. He just shut him out of the gen pop. Step on there and stop. So everyone on program, head on. Hands on head, don't move. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then when it stays like that until they get everyone in place and they leave and then okay. It's all humans too. Mm-hmm. Seven levels of factory, seven rooms per level, seven tables per room, seven men, each table. My name is I was wondering <gasps> if I knew his voice. Recognized his voice, but man. They only come to pick up the dead and bring their replacements. You're mine now. Jeez. Off program! I can't believe it. Back to work! 
I'm so shocked. I know. When he was walking out, I'm like, I feel like I know the voice, but Andy Circus. It's crazy. You play against all the other tables in this room. I play against all the other rooms. Okay. okay. Call it what you will. The point of this conversation is that you understand one thing. This is competitive. Uh-huh. Losing hope, your mind, keep it yourself. <laughs> Don't ever slow up my line. Table five. If he's more productive, does he get like better treatment or? Well, they rates? said that that you know, the quality of your stay was up to you. Yeah. So what do we call you? Kip. I'm Jim. Is that a droid? Welcome. Zol. What are they working on? Zol. Targa. Targa. Olaf. Olaf. Ham. Ham. This is Melshi. <gasps> Melshi from Rogue One. It is. Rogue New Scott. And I looked away. 5-2-D shift productivity levels are unacceptable. We're calling a new clock. Okay, listen up! This will be a sprint segment! 39 minutes on the tongue. As ever, the least productive table will be disciplined. Oh yeah. my god. They just made a cruel game out of it. Mm. Yep. What are these things? Like, what are they working on? They look like spider bot legs or some yeah, shit. Though. Get busy, you'll get They're like a pit team. More efficient pit droids ever. And Cassian's like, I don't know what we're doing yet. He has to watch what they're doing. Yeah, best thing he can do is stay out of the way for now. Overwhelming, man. I know. Ooh, worms. Yeah, they dissolved. No. <laughs> Is that what they put? Remember in Cantina in the episode four? Wasn't there like a little worm in there? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nod to that. What's the punishment look like? Just standing in line, waiting. He looks probably uh, just. Oh, Bruce Scott. Communicating to the outside. Cool. So cool. It is cool. It's like Vietnam vets learn to communicate by speaking. I don't know if Cassian has to figure out a way out of here, or if we talk about like Luther and them try to find a way yeah. of getting them out, you know? <clears throat> like there's communication between prisoners right here with this, you know? That can be helpful. You see the white lights? It's the floor. White is cold, red is hot. The white lights start flashing, you've got seven seconds to get to yourself. Seven? They love seven. Yep. Well, it's a seven-sided... Mm -hmm. And food? The two. You can get as much as you want. They like us healthy and fueled. Don't worry. Like you learn to eat it. The food too? You don't walk in your sleep, do you? What? You'll find out. Tighten up! I'm gonna be on the floor. Hot floor! Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. Had flashing, you got seven seconds, dude. And you have two people in one cell, they get fried in the cell. Is that how it works? And I haven't seen one KX droid. <laughs> get on the thing! Dude! Oh my gosh. Tighten up! This music so yeah, like stranger music, things. Yeah. It's so unnatural. <laughs> Like their shower. shower. Yeah. Just yeah. They probably don't even bathe, they just sterilize them basically. Probably. Come on, come on, come on. Aren't you so curious what that I know. Is? I keep looking, I'm like, what is it? Will I recognize it? Hmm. Back on Ferrix. It's not complaining if you tell me what's going on. Oh, you're freezing. This is your... My mother was a whiner, and that'll cure you. What was she doing by the hotel? She's obsessed with troopers. She fell trying to pry open the old Rick's floodgate. She got to flush them out? No. She wanted to see if the tunnel under the hotel was still open. Why? So the rebellion can sneak in and take them by surprise. She's just tired of waiting. <laughs> uh... Oh, Vel. 
Some blue milk. There's a room to rent around the corner. We have a sign up. Can't just stay here. I can. Alone. Two of us would draw too much attention. Who would you say you are? Maybe I'm a rich girl running away from her family. Mm. I told you up front. The struggle will always come first. We take what's left. Mm. No time for love, Dr. Jones. Sitting in the same so where's she gonna go, though? If she's staying here to monitor. So lucky that window lines up. Oh, he's thinking about it, isn't he? Does it kill you? Yeah. They said it fries you. Well, I thought they fried him level one before. But... You can't help. Let's quiet down. Level five, grid disruption. You have ten seconds to get on your sleeping platforms. There are only have platforms. These are gonna keep like, you know, like yeah. sending electricity. Just there. cooking you. What's going on? It's Pax Yard. I'm not sure they're all over it. Pax Yard. Whoa! What was, was that? that? A droid or a guy in a suit? Yes. Couldn't tell. Could have been either one, I suppose. I mean, could have been a droid who's a guy in a suit. Where my father? Tell me, where is he? Where is my oh, father? No. Ah. Silence. That's that prefect dude. Is it because of the? It's because the of transmission. Colleen. Bix Colleen. You should have been somewhere. That's else. your name, isn't it? Get her! Think Senta intervenes? Jeez. Jesus, that guy can that scream. Guy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sick run. Hey! Been cool. We're gonna see Saw! It's been the two tubes. Yeah. They got an X Wing, too. The garrison at Old Donnie. Oh, it is. Was Thanks to the shoulder piece. That's so cool. I was just about to ask you the same thing. You'd never tell me if it was. I'll take all three deflectors. How much? No, well, you meet with Krieger, they're free. You don't, I'll take them elsewhere. I work alone. That's what I'm trying to change. I'm not going to put my people at risk for someone else. We need to pull together, Saul. Hmm. Krieger needs air support. I'm not for hire. Think of it. Think of Spellhouse in flames. Oh, they speak his language. We got together. Krieger's a separatist. My pay's a neo Republican. The Gorman Front. Gorman. The Partisan Alliance. Sectorist. Human cultists. Galaxy partitionist. They're lost. All of them lost. Man. Lost. What are you, Luther? The Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> no sale today, Luther. Good luck with Anto Krieger. Hmm. Damn, they got her. Yeah. That guy was determined. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's on her way up. Huh. Oh, there's, there's the, the dude. dude. Yeah. No. I want her to see him. Oh. <sighs> Just because of the signal. I heard an interrogator droid. Yeah. He did. How do they know about Bix? Like, what's it just what that it connected to Cassian? He, 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 Before. he probably turned yeah. her. He, they probably tortured him and he said it, right? Can't blame him. Sure. And then that just heightens your fear of what's going to oh, happen. Yeah. The fear of anticipation of what will happen to you. Deidre is so good. Like, she has quickly become one of my favorite Imperial characters. <laughs> By no. becoming one of my least favorite Imperial yeah. characters. Right. Well, Imperials are always portrayed as so dumb. She's so smart. Well, and she's trying to do it for good, you know, with the other guys, like, covering up yeah. what he's doing. You, you know what I mean? Sure, I get you. What are those things? Mines? Probably some more dumb. Right? Like a light fixture? Like the crotch piece in the ATST. 
or something. I don't know. No, damn it! Uh, I don't want the show to end. Must it end? Just That's the worst part going. of the show. It ends. They should not do that. Like, it's yeah, so obvious to right, not end. You right. know, like I wish fucking the Gilroys would get this. Looks so long. In. Why is it still so long? There's no way there's an end credit scene. It just seems because the show's oh, that good. Long. You gotta have all these people work on it. It's seven minutes of credits. Yeah. Well, still, how long was left? For a TV episode, you know? It's crazy. Dude, this was a great episode. Sure. We had Saul Guerrero. We had Bruce Scott Melshi. It was some so, crazy Rogue so. One characters in there. What? Character? Oh, just saw and... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Other we got Kino. <laughs> Dude, if you had asked me, like, okay, what's going to be in a Star Wars show? I'd be like, Andy Serkis, naked, surrounded by 50 naked men. <laughs> I would never have said that. <laughs> never. Not in a million billion years. If you had said, hey, is this going to happen? Yes or no. If you're right, you get a million dollars. Here's a poll. I would have 100% been like, no way. Audience, do you think you'll ever see in Star Wars, naked Andy yeah. Serkis, surrounded by naked men? Like, think about going back in time and just telling yourself something. Like, you could just say one thing. Like 90-10. You know? Like, that might be one of the things there's I said. 10% chance it could happen. Is there? Well, now there's a lot more, but yeah. I'd say back then, Andy's for sure, 90-10. Especially because he was already such a major character, too. Yeah, sure. but, but... But it wasn't his face. It was very CGI. CGI. It's like Clancy Brown. How many Clancy Brown characters you got in Star Four. Wars, you know? Yeah, but most of them are voice, which I you could say, well, so is Andy Serkis, but he was also yeah. a performance capture, too. It's like, a, it's like the idea of Lion King. is just like... I don't care. The new Lion King was just... It was a bit better cartoon, <laughs> you know? Sure, I get you. It wasn't like real lions yeah. out there doing shit. So. And then just for those that don't remember, Bruce Scott Melshi is he's one of the guys that saves uh, Jen or so uh, from the prison camp on Wilbonnie. And he is the ground commander on Scarif uh, for the rebel cell that attacks Scarif. So whenever they're like, you know, like Cassian like says, like, Melshi, he'll be in command, make 10 men feel like 100, you know, that, that, that spot. So. I was just whenever we were talking about character from World War One that could appear, I was like, I don't know, Melshi, <laughs> someone that didn't get a lot of chances to do anything, you know? Yeah, yeah. he died on the ground on Scarif yes. there. Yes, he did. In the same area where like she and them were, yeah. right? Yeah, they, they went you to do the, the master button. switch. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. He passed unfortunately, but so did everybody. Yep, everyone that went in the shield. Yep. Right, I don't think any of the pilots survived. Right, I think they all died too. Yeah, Blue Squadron dies as well. Anybody that goes through the shield gate. Yeah, dead. like I know they mm -hmm. break it open eventually, but I'm like, I don't think anyone escaped. No, the only thing that escapes is the, the, the transmission. The transmission. <sighs> Got to be a rogue one. Interesting too, of like, like I do like seeing uh, what's her name, the De Daedra De Miro. Is it Daedra? Yeah, like I'm D E B R A. Right. Naruto has me like, which ones? Yeah, Daedara, De Daedara, De <laughs> Daedra. Like kind of thinking about those, but I am liking her just because. And whatever we have with Karn or whatever, Zero, yeah. like the the aspect where like they feel they're doing right, they're trying to capture these criminals and stuff mm -hmm. like that. There's like I know I don't want to ruin the Empire, no, but they seem competent and they seem like they yeah. feel like this guy's like this guy murdered two of my officers. I, I'm trying to get him, yeah, and I was blamed for it, and I'm, I'm going to catch this guy. Right, trying to understand and relate with a character that has a poor moral compass isn't a bad thing. It's that's. That's, that's the, the sure. crux of storytelling. Well, and also, like, like, like... I want to... I want to at least care when they succeed or when they fail. Like, I want... Like, I'm not... Because I root for the character doesn't mean I agree with everything the character does. Sure, I sure. just... That's what characters are. They are a chance for you to look at yourself and be like, what would you do? <laughs> you but know? I don't know that I've seen... I don't know if I've seen her do, like, the really shady Imperial stuff, right? I feel like the stuff we're typically seeing her do, except for torturing Pack here. It seems like oh, the, the worst yeah. thing that we've seen her do so far. Most of it so far has been, like, looking at information and data. One guy's kind of shoving stuff under the rug so that they don't actually look at it. And she's sure. like, no, look at this stuff. Like, we need to, there's a bigger scale mm -hmm. force going to attack our, you know, our sure. empire. And from that perspective, she feels she's in the right fighting a rebel force yeah. who's attacking her, her empire, you know? Yeah. But just like when you look at the grand scale of what the empire does and stuff, you're like, ah, oh, all Imperials are bad. It's like, well, and as she feels she's in the right. She does. Fighting um, an evil, like, oh, terrorist group. Yeah, you know what I mean, I mean sure. fucking, you know, slavers that went to the continent of Africa and took black people thought, like, well, they're lesser than us, so it's not a bad thing what we're doing. 
Sure. You know, like it's their she's an view. imperial that thinks the empire is necessary and great, and she's ISB. She knows the, every dirty shit the empire does. She doesn't care. Do you think she knows like everything? Like, like she's the, well aware of all. The I things? don't think it'll surprise her. I mean, they sure. are all aware of the uh, the public order resentencing directive and all this stuff. Where PRD, like, yeah, they, they know that the empire is cracking down hard because of what rebels have done. That's not fair to the average person, but they don't care. Yeah. Well, they also don't see all of the the side effects of that, mm -hmm. right? Like they don't know that people are getting their sentences doubled and. And shit like that, right? I wouldn't surprise me if the ISB um, knows. The ISB may have... I think they established that, right? Yeah. Like, that's what they pushed for. That was during the time of, like, taxes yeah. and more sentence times yeah. and, and all that every, kind of stuff. I think everybody knows. really crush... But what they're after is crushing the rebellion. But yeah. ultimately, they're going to just hurt the general public, yeah. right? Like, some of these guys that are in there, I don't think they're there for the rebellion. Mm -hmm. But their sentences all just seem to double, triple, yeah. whatever they said. And they have no idea why. Yeah, they didn't do anything. They're not part of the rebellion, no, but they're but, being punished for it. But it's the same part, uh, the same POD directives that are, I guess, PO directives that are, you know, the reason that this six month crime is now a six year crime. Like it's, it, it's just the empire. Don't let any tragedy not be taken advantage of. They now have an entire slave work for, workforce yeah. that they can say in the name of justice is happening. But really, like there are going to be prisons like this and. Every system all over the galaxy. Yeah. I feel like Yalarin was the one saying about those things happening yeah. in, like, last episode or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. So, there's, yeah. like, higher-ups that are giving commands, and then she's trying to work to do right. Yeah. And Karn, I feel like, is working to do right. Yeah. Like, and the idea of, like, this guy came, killed two... Like, the cops were terrible people, mm -hmm. right? And they were harassing him and stuff. Of course. But then he killed them, and it's like, well, he did kill two people. Yeah. But I'm like, there's also just the Empire sucks. <laughs> so, like, there's that side of it too just in a grand scheme you don't go with the imperials just because they make workforce labor slavery and yeah. do all these things and it's like from their point of view it's like well you got to work off your debt to society but yeah. from the republic or the rebel side of it, it's like you know but Cassi a society that you well, have no voice like getting cassians like well sure maybe he should be in jail for killing people and whatever he's stealing stuff whatever but why they arrested him there was no reason why they arrested him yeah. at that time you mm -hmm. know yeah like, it wasn't even like they did... There was a, no due process. It wasn't like there. they did a taillight stop, and they happened to find a warrant out for this guy. They just found some random guy, and like, well, you're going to jail, too. <laughs> yeah. And didn't find the real reason of why he's in jail. Mm hmm Which probably would have been longer than six years. So, no. Yeah, I don't... But it is... I like seeing bad guy Imperials and get to spend more time with them and yep. see what they do, you know? Yeah, I mentioned, you know, the, the Stanford Prism experiment and the reaction. I don't know if it made it in, but, you know, Andy Serkis's character, which I think his name was Kino. Yeah. Yeah. Kino. You know, he is a prisoner himself, but a, being a peer, then given power, the, the Stanford Prison experiment was a bunch of students that were put into, like, a prison-like environment. Some were made guards and some were made prisoners. And even though they're peers, they both know that they're in the experiment and, and all that stuff, they naturally just became more of the oppressors, more of like using because, and abusing their authority. Yeah, because they were given a yeah. position of power, they abused it, knowing yeah. that there were no consequences. So what Kino was doing in prison, young, you know, impressionable Imperials are doing to the entire galaxy. You know, like that's it's just like a small version of what the Empire is doing, which is like get you to be a cog in the Imperial machine yeah. and You'd give be this, on this side of the machine, give this side. person authority, and suddenly it's. You versus them, not everybody's in prison together. You know yeah. that's crazy. It's such a psychological uh, example of what the emperor is doing to the entire galaxy. I, I think it's brilliant. Yeah. No, I agree. Because so much of the empire stuff is create a loyalty to the empire of the everyday people, yeah. and now you're now you're just splitting everyone in half mm -hmm. anyway, and then you just oppress even harder the people yeah. who are against you, and then the loyalists stay there. Yeah. I do really enjoy the Mon Mothma side of stuff too. Getting to hear the senator side of like what they're talking about with it's, Emperor Palpatine yeah. and what he's doing, and it, I, it just we're not missing any side of this conflict. No, like I'm not being like, well, I wonder what this guy's doing. You know, like I feel like I'm getting like a full picture of how everyone in the galaxy is feeling. Yeah, like I understood Bale enough to know like, well, he's not for this, you know. But sure. like just being able to hear other senators yeah. and even seeing Mothma um, before in the Senate 
and like all the seats are empty because mm-hmm. yeah. like have those people either do they not care to show up yeah do have they been arrested mm-hmm. you know like what's the reason for this senate being so empty because yeah. back in the prequels i feel like every time you went to the senate thing maybe it's because of war but even in the episode one there were so many people there yeah. filling up all those seats it's because the like, republic was working yeah like yeah. why aren't they there now it's either i feel like it's either a because like well these senators aren't for the empire thus they've kind of been removed in some way or fashion Mm -hmm. or like they just don't care yeah and it's like well we're not gonna do anything why show up you know whatever because sometimes like even our senators and stuff like you don't have everyone there every time right yeah but usually during the big stuff you do yeah when it's in session so i don't know you know it's a a good point that you bring up like my mothma's there but no one else is there but when you think about it she also isn't really there because what she does publicly is just a front yeah. to hide the shit that she's really doing, which, yeah, she's on the other side, but it's weirdly similar to what everybody else is doing. Huh. I wonder if the senator from Tatooine, or not Tatooine, from Naboo, is still there. Is there a senator from Naboo? Uh, I assume there would there be, right? Be, yeah. I wonder, uh, who, like, would it be Jar Jar? No, <laughs> I don't think he, so. He was representative of Binks. He was representative of the Gungans. Um, I don't know. Uh... I mean, there has to be. Yeah, I mean, I there was figure. the Queen Jamila or whatever her name was. Still, yeah. So. But the Queen wasn't the senator, right? No. Mm-hmm. Um, but though some past queens became senators. I'm sure stuff, it's so. something that was been covered in the, had in the expanded universe or something at this point. By the way, make sure you guys are checking out Badonka Gonk, where Aaron and I primarily are going through a lot of the uh, the extra books and comic material that you don't see here on the channel with mm. reactions. And you might be thinking, well, that's a lot of stuff. We are starting from like the beginning. You can just follow along with us, and we're only a couple books in at this yeah, point. No. If you're interested, and you want to have these type of conversations about more Star Wars, please check out Badonka Gun. Yeah, our next one's The Dark Disciple, which I think was one of the earliest, if not the first, of like new canon stuff. Yeah, and it's uh, it's adapting a uh, Katie Lucas penned arc of the Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I loved, 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 loved mm, the Saul Guerrero conversation with Luthen so much. Yeah. Forrest Whitaker, and uh, Skell and Skarsgård, like those two, when they get into it, like Forrest went hard when he was talking about separatists, you know, republicists, you know, like he was like naming things. off all the different yeah. like categories that people were falling yeah. in. Yeah, Luther's like, just like, why can't we all just and like get looking along? down on all of them? Yeah, right. Yeah, they're all lost. Yeah, but like most lost, like they were all different versions of being against the Empire, yeah. right? Like, yeah, a separatist. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like that one was like, well, they were against the Republic before. They're yeah. still a separatist, mm-hmm. and he fought against them because he has a, a hatred for them on what they did to sure. Underon, right? Underon, but killed his sister. Came but wrong. like, they're still not for the Empire. So yeah. like, I like Luthen's ideas. Like, alone, we can't do this. We need yeah. to come together for it. And, He's thinking yeah. like, because they don't agree with my mentality, they yeah. can't agree with my goal. Sure. And Saul, I don't think ever S- quite gets to that point where he's willing to work with everybody, whether it's through paranoia. Or the fact that he's willing to go as far as the Empire he will is willing go to go. So far. Like he will go as far as the Empire against the Empire. Yeah, and yeah. you know, spit in your face and call you weak for not daring to go as far as he does. And when you say like, well, how far is too far? Like we read on Badaga on Rebel Rising, and there's a scene in there where oh. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> he it's... uh he doesn't give a fuck if you're like if, yeah. <laughs> like how we were talking about like Tarkin landing on the the, uh-huh. the what was it, the Gorm the Gorm Gormans? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they would then right? him and just killing yeah. a bunch of people. It's like that kind of stuff. Saul like, will real yeah, bad. Saul will <clears throat> blow up a building if it like of a thousand kills, people if it has five imperials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he will go so far, uh, and I can't. I, I hope that this show goes into that more too. Right. Uh, it was cool seeing his uh, like outfit too because I recognized yeah. it on his shoulder immediately mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, but it's still a little different. Yeah, but like, there's room for him yes. to still become over the next five years, or whatever mm-hmm. it is, of what he becomes in Rogue One. You know, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, and you know the the imagery of being a uh, a radical terrorist in a way, living in a cave, isn't lost on me either. You know, like uh, Lucas kind of famously had the Empire and the Rebels be the Vietnam War in his in his head when he was writing it, and you know. Guess who America was? <laughs> you know? Not great. So anyway, I just think that's really interesting. It's cool to see Benthic is, is with him. Benthic two tubes still. Uh, and I really like that... Uh, shit, I just had something really cool I thought, but I just lost it. Proxy? No. Though that is cool. David Collins being uh, the, the, the Fondor ship or whatever it's called. Damn. Never mind. 
Yeah, the uh, Fondor mod droid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we did learn that Mon Mothma has been married since she was 15. So even seeing her in cutscenes in the prequels, she would have been married at that point. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, she was a sinner at 16. Yeah. It's almost mm -hmm. like uh, like Pad Padme, Padme being a queen at 13, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that's young for a queen, usually, because mm -hmm. usually you want them to have some experience and stuff. and know it. But instead, I, I don't know how much say they really had, or if it was yeah. more of like... She's kind of manipulated by that little court she has. Yeah, and I get you. To, you know what I mean? I don't know how it is when Chandrilla, you know, Naboo, they kind of have this idea of being this kind of artistic, political uh, society that, you know, that younger kids, they they don't have as much baggage. Sure. That also doesn't really address that they, you know, kids want to please people, you know, uh, and stuff like that. So it is no surprise that someone like Palpatine is from that planet where it's like, the illusion of choice is actually, you just do exactly what he wants you to do. You know? Sure. But, yeah, it, her being so young, but on Chandrilla, like, that's very young for a senator, I feel like. But we've seen examples like the senator from Band Pandora, right, uh, in Clone Wars being very young. And yeah. Stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I can't so, her name, but yeah. Tushi, Tucci, something like that? Yeah, something like that. Tushi, Tushi sounds Tushi? wrong. Yep. You know, Tucci sounds right. Well, I got, we get a lot of grief from but. messing up character names and stuff, but like at any one time, just think about how many character names you're trying to keep track of. Oh no, I have a lot. Like it's not just Star Wars has ten thousand characters. Sure. I'm trying to remember. But then I have like Game well, of Thrones. Stuff. Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, fucking. Not to mention you know, all the animes, Naruto, all the animes. My Hero Academia. Yeah. You know how many characters in My Hero? <laughs> alone? There, yeah, and they all have two names and <laughs> like a hundred. Man, I, I could try, you know. So no. if I, and uh, then Tushi, Class B, if, uh, Senator Tushi comes out. Don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it could be that. I don't know. I love the uh, the sign language too uh, of the prisoners. Sure. I, I know I've mentioned it a bunch of times in various videos, but there's this great book called When Hell Was in Session about Vietnam prisoners of war uh, creating. Not Morse code, but their own way of tapping, sweeping, just anything to communicate relatively silently so that the guards just have no idea that it's happening. Undetected. But, and it kind of reminded me of that. I thought yeah. that was really yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm wondering if we're learning, like, I felt like every time things were happening, you have Andor looking around. Yeah. And it's like, is he trying to figure out ways to escape? And it's going to be solely based on him as to why they escape? Yeah. Or will it be tied to more of like Luthen sure. and Val and something like that? Because. Yeah. Whenever they were being shocked, sure, he was watching, he's learning there. But then it was just something about, like, when he's looking around, and there's, like, the one guard was missing and stuff, and I'm like, what am I, am I supposed to be pulling something from this? Is this noticing, like, sometimes things happen, and there's, like, you. a delay? Then the sign language thing, it's like, well, there's a way to communicate to all the levels, where yeah. you can maybe have something happen all at the same time, maybe. <laughs> no, I get you. then they just shock the floor, so I don't know. There's definitely times, especially, like, why even show that one scene of the guard being late? You yeah. You know, like, there has to be a reason. You don't just do that for no reason. So it's really drilling home the idea that this prison is like almost automated and that the prisoners are keeping themselves in prison. Sure, it's just yeah. a technology that has Like to how schedule. many guards are really there? Exactly. Like that could be something that he's noticing. However, I do think there are moments, especially like the one where he's like standing in line and it's just like panic on his face. It's just like, I, I really appreciate the actors, the act, you know, uh, Diego Luna and the, the storytellers giving casting a chance to feel real emotion that he doesn't even know what he's feeling but it's like he's just he's scared he's sad he's in prison again like he mm -hmm. just has this moment of just sheer and utter panic and I think that that reveals that makes characters braver and stronger when they they have that to you know look we see this part of him then we see the next part rather than they're yeah. just brave all the yeah. time yeah. I don't want right. to just you know spit in people's faces like, and I'm a badass all the time yeah yeah. Conan the Barbarian is exactly. probably always just brave and yeah. fighting and killing whatever right but then when you see him more vulnerable yeah. it means more when he, you see the strength yeah. too, right? what Ned Stark said like a man can only be brave when he feels fear I get uh, what you mean I wonder what they're making or if, if it matters I you know I, yeah I kind of hope we ever find out. In a way, Maybe. I think it's I think it's interesting too. They had they put so much work, and they even gamify it. You know, like pitting people against each other and stuff like that. Sure, it's such sure. a dirty mind prison, as well as a real, real bad prison. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like employee of the month when you're making minimum wage. Yeah, right. It's like no, I'd really love healthcare. <laughs> you know, sure. Right? Except you literally only get a plaque. I mean, what was it yeah. that Kino said? Was like they only come in whenever they need to pull the bodies out or to bring new out. people yeah. or whatever. Like yeah. otherwise, yeah, it's automated. Yeah. No one comes in. Yeah. But, but like, I think, how do you? I don't know. 
I think that might be true because they were looking up at the windows. It's like mm-hmm. this guy's on duty. Yeah. You know, keeping track of, of how many guards they have and stuff. They have, whenever they come in, there's a show of force, but there may only be those six guys for the whole prison, mm-hmm. you know, and everything else is just automated. Like, maybe what happens is we can get, we had uh, Kino, right, Andy Circus talking about, I have 256 days left, whatever it was, right? So he's shy of a year mm-hmm. that he's left in this. Yeah. But if that gets doubled or tripled or something, and if that's what they're doing to everybody, like, maybe that causes problems and maybe yeah. you can get like a riot to occur where they start trying to break out of this place yeah the thing that seemed to be an an issue or a way that maybe they can get one up on the guards was like that elevator lift thing seems to not have electrocution option there because that's yeah. why on they the were floor. like riding him down yeah. with the little thing and then like get down and yeah. then he's touching the, the sure. tongue what's it called Tongue steel. Steel. Tongue steel. Yeah. yeah. No, they there was a lot of little clues put in here, I feel like, to really make it because we know Cassian, like as soon as he walks in the herbal camp, he's like, left hand, right hand, right hand, favors his left. Yeah. Like he notices these little details. Yeah. So he's noticing all these yeah. different things. Like maybe that's a thing, like when they bring in someone new, which yeah. is one of the only times they come in, mm-hmm. can we make a move? Even though they have everyone doing this. Yeah. Like how do you start moving? How do you get to that point? Yeah. But Kino was able to move freely, mm-hmm. so maybe that's a way if you can get maybe. him on board with it, but I don't yeah. know. I hope they, whatever they do, like they can solidify some type of really good or mutual relationship with Bruce Scott Melshi, just because Melshi was, like, Cassian put him in charge of the ground forces on Scarif, even though there was another guy that technically outranked him, you know? I always thought that was interesting. Uh, so maybe it's just like, well, I know him. I know him well. He knows what to do. And, He'll do sure. It. So maybe this is like the beginning of that. Yeah. And like how many of these prisoners on his table five get out? Yeah. Like, I didn't write down all the names. I like I assume that. that he gets out. Yeah. Um, Melshi? Yeah, Melshi. Like I assume, but mm-hmm. the old guy probably doesn't. Yeah. Probably you know. No. But what about some of the other ones? Do they make it out too? Do we see them and we just don't recognize them or something? Yeah. I don't know. You probably remember a lot more names from there because of the study. Yeah, only because I studied. There, I would not. I mean, you know, there's Pal. We, uh, you're but, like Melshi. I'm like. Who? Yeah. No, it's only... I don't expect many people and, to catch it. And I looked away, and I was, I write, I was writing names. I looked at him like, shit, yeah. which, which face was Mousy? I might recognize his face. Sure. I don't recognize the name. No, whenever you study trivia at that level, like, there's this ego part of you that wants to show off, but there's also, like, I had genuine, like, like... Please, God, have him be in it, <laughs> you know? Like, that would be so I cool. I studied this. Yeah. Well, I, even just, like, I personally... You know, those rebels, I love those guys that sure. volunteer because the entire Rebel Alliance, all the senators, all the people that make decisions are like, no, we're scared, we can't. But these motherfuckers, the dirty guys, the guys that go in and do the shit no one sure. else uh, has the dignity to respect in a way, right? Like, the, like Mon Mothma, all those people know that has to happen, but they kind of feel like, well, we're above that. Mm. We'll let the, the the murderers and the saboteurs and the Saw Guerreras of the world do it, sure. right? But like, I, I just know that, that, that those guys are like, hey, we've done the dirty shit, and we cannot let that go to waste. So I respect characters like Melshi. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like, the spy work's going to be dirty. There's yeah. definitely times that, like, well, you got to do some stuff. Yeah. Like, you have to go to extreme as Saw. No. But, like, there's times where you, like, you might have to kill someone or something, yeah. you know, or whatever the case may be. And yeah. I, I get Mon Mothma not wanting to be a part of that, yeah. but I don't know. Yeah. I was uh, re-watching the Aldani uh, trilogy. And I remember now Skeen saying saying something to uh, uh, the kid who uh, had the manifesto, Nimic. Nimic, yeah. Like, Nimic fell asleep on guard duty, yeah. and Skeen, like, wakes him up with a knife at his throat. He says, like, if you're working with this guy or this guy or Saul Guerrera, like, they, they slit the throats of people that fall asleep <laughs> on guard duty. So they're even setting up Saul as being, like, so much here in the yeah. show. No. And it seems he had some X wings, and they were asking for air support. So that's cool. That's interesting. I don't really, I don't really associate Saul with air support. No, I mean typically the only time we've seen him is in that U wing that he had, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. And yeah. also, he said he doesn't work with other people. So yeah. yeah. If there were any kind of operation where they needed X wings, yeah, like they would be using it. Right? Sure. Not helping other people. Well, we're going to check out some Q&As from people at Twitter that submit uh, questions, comments, theories, all that jazz. We're going to see if there's anything that we missed or uh, just see some interesting points of view from you, the viewer. Ah, okay. Yes, this was one. Jack says, at the start of the episode, 
Belsavis. How do you say it? Belsavis? Belsavis. Belsavis was mentioned. It's a planet from Star Wars, the Old, the Old Republic. It was a prison used by the Republic and the Rakatan Empire before them. I, I I don't know much about the Old Republic other than this kind of the basic setting, yeah. but I know some of the planets. Yeah. It's after like Dromancos and Coruscant and stuff. It's yeah. one of the earlier planets you go to. Yeah. Um, after like there's a starting planet and mm -hmm. then there's like your capital planet. Yeah. And then there was I think this was one of the first gotcha. ones you went to. Yeah. So after thinking about it and we were talking about it more and more, I'm like, it's not in Kotor, but yeah. yeah. Star Wars the Old Republic. Mm -hmm. That's I, I love the little details. I mean, this show is so good at little details, but the, it's things in there where like fans that don't get that reference or don't feel left behind. You know, like we recently watched uh, the new Dark, Doctor Who special, and I really enjoyed it, but I kind of felt left behind a little bit. But I'm like, oh, I don't know everything, you know. But here, like, I wouldn't feel that way because I'd be like, oh yeah, planet name, that's fine, you know. Well, I feel left behind because you guys recognize. I know that. we forced you to feel left behind. We yeah. kicked you out. Of a relatively easy train to ride yeah. on. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry yeah. Cal. Choo choo. <laughs> we need to do the thing where you turn the around the and train. do the choo choo train. <laughs> we just kick Cal out. I don't know, fucking know what that oh, is. No. <laughs> uh, Paul Gaston says now the ISB, friends and family from back home, and Luthen's team are all looking for Andor. Who do you think finds him first? And will it be from within the prison or when he breaks out? P.S. Everything regarding the prison was positively. Horrifying. Yes. Um, I'm going to say he's going to make new friends and they're going to find him before his old friends or ISB or mm -hmm. Luthen. I think head. if the if the thing keeps increasing people's time time there, yeah. right? And it's like, they're, they're never going to let us out. I think that pushes Kino to a higher point where he's upset about it. Yeah. Because right now he's like, stay in line until I get out of this, then I don't care. You know? But if he's never going to get out of it, then you start having more of a riot type thing yeah. build up and he causes a riot and they somehow escape. I just don't know. I want to see him plan an escape with his like observation and whatnot that he has, you know? If you have a problem with another inmate, I'll know before you do. Yeah. Yeah, I'll know exactly. before you do. Uh, what did Saul, uh, not Saul, Luthen was talking about Anto Kriegar that won Saul's help for air support. What was he hitting? He was hitting a factory or a power station or something. Okay. And he said factory. I just wonder if they meant, well, factory could also equal prison. You know? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. But that would be a hell of a coincidence. We'll see. What well, happened to the thing there, though, is maybe if you can work it where it's like, I'm not letting people know what I'm really after, mm -hmm. but this is still a strategic thing, yeah. cause a distraction, then Val or whoever sneaks in, gets him out. Yeah, but he doesn't know he's there. So that's what I mean by it oh, would be a hell of a coincidence that he would well, be going after the, the factory that what he's working in. What happened to Cassian Skykyber? Do you um, guys remember? He gave it to Vel. And to Vel, give back to Luthen. Okay. Right? Well, he just gave it back. Okay. Yeah. Because gotcha. yeah. then he took his money from the, yeah. the, the cut. I was just curious about that, like if he still had it or not. But no, he took it. You're right. Because he was like, tell him I held up my end. Sure. Well, my, part of my my theory of like, what if he's tracking that thing? <laughs> <laughs> no. They would let him keep it in prison, I guess. Uh, Adam says, do you guys think we'll see Cassian break out of prison, or will he serve his sentence? Uh, if so, do you think his team members will help him? We did see one of them communicating with hand signals to another inmate. Well, we know that he can't serve his sentence, because his sentence is longer than, than the one, time yeah. before Rogue One is left, yeah. and he still has a bunch of rebelling to do. Unless he's released early. Yeah, there's no way. Because <coughs> he has six years, and it was four five bby right yeah and uh the the prison guard said like you know your your time here was determined before you got here mm -hmm. meaning that's not going to change yeah but the quality the quality of your stay is up to you so i don't think they have any appeals or like early release on parole or anything like that i think it's work or die yeah uh kyle braun says at the risk of sounding like a broken record Best episode yet? Uh, do you guys think that Cinta would try to break out Bix? She seems to be uh, mark much harder than Vel, and her comment about running away from a rich family makes me wonder if we'll see or learn, learn more from Vel's past. This brings up one of my theories. Do you think Vel is Luthen's daughter? No. I have two. I ten foot. Uh, my ten foot hat through earlier. I thought it originally when they first met, and he was telling. Look her, at me. Like, <laughs> That's a very yeah. dad thing to do. Yeah. 
I uh, the reason I, I I this is gonna be dumb, but she was like sitting in the exact same seat as the sky bus that he was when he came in Ferris. <laughs> the exact same seat. You think it's like <laughs> like a, a like behavioral genetic thing? I don't know. I think it's I don't know. I, I think I they have... just had that set built with the camera rigging and everything for that seat, and she just sat in yeah. the, in the place where the cameras could point. Maybe. I think. Yeah, that's, that's why. <laughs> I'm 50 50 on it. If it happens, I'd be like, oh, but if it doesn't, I won't be surprised. Hmm. Running away from a rich family. Which one do you think ran away from a rich family? Val? I, Val. Think, I think Val did. Val did. And, and Cynthia that's why is Cynthia using it. said it as, as a, like a, her background. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's cruel. Because I was wondering, I'm like, it must be the real story of one of them. And mm-hmm. I thought maybe Val because of that. Yeah, right. she was like, hey, that's not fair because she was talking about her. Yeah. Eric Shipley has a theory of his own. Any chance that you think B2 EMO will somehow have his personality put into a KX security droid? Seems like he could use an upgrade. <laughs> Cassian. Huh. I don't think I don't so. Know. Probably not. Though I don't yeah. think I I don't think B2 would be like Frack. And there's another for you waiting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't see him being there's that. A fresh Did one. you know a fresh that wasn't me? <laughs> Ah, uh, we'll end with D. Brandon Thomas, who says, May I say that watching Stellan Skarsgård and Forrest Whitaker in a scene together is a master class in acting. I'm not well versed on Star Wars, but it had, uh, has it ever been explained who or what brings the rebellion as a whole together? Yes, several times. Uh, there's not just one, but yes. <laughs> there, there are many instances that have, have brought... Uh, Force, Un- Force Unleashed is one that I, mm-hmm. I think of where I'm like, how did the rebellion come to be? Yeah, well, there's, a non canon story now. There's but one, yes, you know? there's but one. that one's not there anymore. But we have elements um, in Star Wars Rebels. Rebels kind of touches on it some. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a reason that uh, in episode four, they, they don't talk about just the Rebels, they talk about the Alliance. Yeah. So, like, we're, I, I assume that we'll see another one of those in this show. Sure. I don't know. Like, the thing about Rebels was that. You find out that there's lots of rebels out there fighting against so, the empire, cells, you know. Right? And then eventually, like them coming together to have a huge yeah. fight, which is essentially the first one is Rogue One. Yeah, like they're never really together and doing a large yeah. fight and having a victory. Really, yeah. everything else has all just been rebel cells sure. doing stuff. So. This will be a weird example of what we're talking about, but like in American politics, there's the religious right, which before that that term was coined there was various sects of christianity right you have 30,000 denominations across the world and what happens is you have a church and then people are like hey i think we should do this and the other's like no that's dumb and that's and, and they split right and, and they split and so much that communities are split it's a huge division sure. and then those would split and those would split and suddenly you have all of these various churches that by definition cannot agree with each other but then a politician comes in and says hey we collectively, just by sheer numbers, have so much power to influence elections, right? So even though you have all these people, you know, Saul Guerrero, being like, fuck that guy, fuck that guy, fuck that guy, there is power in being like, yes, but if we can all agree, fuck that guy together, we have power. And that's what the Rebel Alliance is. I know that it's a strange analogy, but... It's a roundabout one. It's a roundabout apt one. <laughs> Uh, but as of right now, I don't know that we have like a this is definitively why the Rebel Alliance came together. Yeah. Um, or what formed them. It's mm-hmm. just like eventually they all kind of came together. Yeah. Maybe the Gormans are going to have something to do with it. Well, I mean, it definitely is going to have something to do with Mon Mothma really mm-hmm. going and being off. But what pulls other Rebel cells together, you know? It is the. Uh, I really want to say it's probably going to be like Bail Organa. Sure. You know what I mean? It could be. I think Bale definitely has a big part to play, but I do think that Bale also is not distracted, but like he has one eye on Leia and one eye on the Rebellion, and that's a very fair thing. Sure. You know? But he also sends Leia out to do he stuff does. from different things. Totally. And, yeah. and then oh, he has both ships, eyes on her. My yeah. ships have been kidnapped. Yeah. yeah. Not kidnapped. But I just think, like, Stolen. like as a definition of his character, and I think it's right for his character that his attention will always be divided. Sure. In a way, right? Yeah. I don't. That's why I don't think he can lead it. Yeah. But I think he's a big component of, like, Finding different yeah. groups and then kind of bringing them together. You know? I think he's really good about inspiring others. Yeah, like I think he kind of finds 
the ghost. Mm-hmm. And like he introduces himself there, yeah. but then you get like Fulcrum added in, and then you Fulcrum. start bringing in some other elements of Axis. different rebels. And That's stuff. the one and thing we haven't talked about. The yeah. code, not the code name, but the name that they're calling what Luthen is is Axis, and I feel like that's significant com- considering it's a name of a machine, just like a Fulcrum is. Yeah, a simple machine. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. I don't know how significant it will be. I don't know if we'll have like clever, look out, you know, or something like that, but we'll see. Gear! No! Ah! All right. That's the last Q&A. We need a poll for this episode. Hmm. All right, guys. The poll for next episode is, do you think Cassian will escape or be set loose or whatever out of prison by next episode, or do you think that it continues into uh, episode 10? Uh, and in the comments, let us know how you think it happens or doesn't happen. Hmm. I think he won't escape next episode. Yeah. But I think they will formulate like gotcha. a strategy. Cuz he's noticing little things here and there yeah. but they haven't like discussed, "Hey, this happens, this happens, this happens. Here's the opening. Let's take that." I think it'll be the other prisoners. I say episode 10 he would escape. But yeah, I, I think he's putting together information to hopefully figure out a way out. Yeah, cuz it's already been 1 month. So I don't think it's Luthen that figures out how to get him out. I don't think. Luthen doesn't even know he's there. The only thing I don't know is like how they actually escape. Are there ships on board this bowl of a thing or not? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I imagine not. There's little shuttle craft things. They had I I don't know if they have others around. I I think they'll escape next episode. And I think they will fashion (laughs) something out of their factory. <laughs> oh, no, you no, think no. they'll... And it's actually grand, you know, like a like a hammer that opens the door. What? Uh, could be that. You never know. They just make a K2 droid. I'm I'm way more certain that it could be next episode. I don't know what happens next. Uh, how they do it. All Something right. to do with Melshi. They become best friends. Go vote. Go vote. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Andor. Also, uh, Tales of the Jedi came out today, so make sure you check out that reaction as well. Lots of Star Wars yeah. stuff going on. Subscribe, because we cover tons of Star Wars, including our Star Wars podcast, yep. Donkey Gong, that we have at twitch.tv slash blindwave. We also post uh, videos of that here as well. So check all that out. We'll see you guys next time.